Hi everybody. In this new year, 2022, and it's uh, something I've mentioned uh, a while ago in one of my previous videos. Um, my plan is for this year to put up a new series of videos, uh, instructional videos maybe, um, for the chord harmonica. Before I start, before I start, I have to acknowledge two very, very special people that I've had the pleasure to meet and that have helped me a great deal when I bought my first court harmonica. Um, so the knowledge that I have about this court harmonica is something that was given to me um, by two very special people. The first one was Mr. Walter Peterman, a very experienced court harmonica player in the United States. Um, you want to look him up on YouTube. He's a fantastic, fabulous court player with more than 40 years of experience playing court harmonicas. And when he saw a video of mine on YouTube a few years ago when I just bought a court harmonica, he decided to actually help me out. He made some instructional videos. We had some uh, chats online and, and things like that. So he decided to help me out and that helped me a great, great deal. Um, also, some of the material that I will post here later is also made by Walter Peterman. So I owe a great deal to him. Thank you very much. And then another person that I really want to thank, and I owe a lot to, is Mr. James Hughes, um, a UK harmonica player, uh, multi-times UK champion. Um, he's in his 90s now, so unfortunately he doesn't do anything anymore, but... Um, I had the pleasure to be invited by Mr. James Hughes and it turned out he wasn't living too far away from me in the UK. And I used to go there on Sunday mornings and we had a practice session with about four or five players. And I learned an awful lot about how to play court harmonica. We did this for about two years. Regularly on a basis, I used to go to Solihull in the Birmingham area uh, on a Sunday morning where we had a practice session with about four or five players together. And I learned a hell of a lot there. So again, the court harmonica is, I just decided to buy one because I had tried out to start a harmonica club here in Coventry, but it didn't quite work out. So no one stayed um, anyway, but um, so those two people, Walter Peterman and Jim Hughes, both I owe a lot to those two, especially with what I can share with you about the court harmonica. Anyway, what is a court harmonica? A court harmonica is a harmonica that, of course, plays chords. Now, I don't know whether you've seen it, I've, I've posted a few videos about a court harmonica a long time ago already on my channel. Uh, so you might, have, you might want to check those out. Um, but uh, the chord harmonica is basically a harmonica for those players who want to support other players. Because it's an orchestral instrument, so it provides chords to a chromatic player. Um, the chord harmonica is used very often together with a bass harmonica. So the chord and bass together actually is used a lot in harmonica ensembles, harmonica trios, quartets, you name it. Um, unfortunately the chord harmonica is uh, quite rare. Um, it's also quite expensive to buy and it's actually for those harmonica players that want to support other players, accompany other players. 
So if you're the type of person that wants to go out on a night and be a shining star on a stage, play the harmonica uh, as a performance on your own, etc., then the chord harmonica is not for you. I'll be just completely honest about it. It's not something to actually brag about. It's, it's the kind of harmonica that you play if you want to support and play with other people. Right, now there are different types. In another video, in my next video, I'll explain that there are very many different types of chord harmonicas. But the most common one, even though quite a few of you might never have seen one, is what's called the 48 chord harmonica. And again, there are different types. So in the next video, I'll discuss those different types. Um, but this is one of them. And this is a, I can't even fit it in the screen. This is a 48 chord harmonica. So consists of two bodies, two harmonica bodies. They are held together on the side by hinges. So they sort of get together and you can actually adjust them. So you can make it, sorry, wider, closer, etc. So you can sort of adjust them. And of course you play chords on them. Now a chord is officially, the official term for a chord is three or more notes in a specific key that provide a chord. And the chord then accompanies a melody. And a melody can be played on a, um, a chromatic harmonica or anything like that. Now, and again, I'll explain this, the different types of chord harmonica on this as well. Um, but what it basically is, is you get all the 12 notes of the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale has got 12 notes, 12 different notes. And all those 12 notes are here in sections. One, two, three, four, and if you count on, you count 12. All the notes, all the chromatic notes in the chromatic scale are available and then for each note um, for instance just as an example this is a C and then for the C you can play four even five but I'll get into that later different types of chords now if you look close this harmonica not everything but this harmonica has got a large section here that whole one hole actually contains five reeds again that's just in this type and then next to it is a bass note um so you play a chord on the c so that you play a seam blow on the top body so this is the top body if you blow on a chord you get the major chord if you draw you breathe in you get a seventh chord and then on the lower body you get the minor chords and the augmented and diminished chords but that's a different story altogether so basically for each note you can play four different chords in one section so the different notes you go to the side to different sections and then you can for each section each section you can play different chords major chord, seventh chord, minor chord, or augmented or diminished chord. So, just to give you a bit of a sound idea how this sounds like, let me start with an F major. That's an F major chord. If I then draw in the same chord, A seventh chord the, um, actually it's the dominant seventh chord uh, so an F major F seventh seventh then you get the F minor chord So 
four different chords for each note. So basically you can play those four different types of chords on any kind of scale, any note. So that's how it's laid out. Um, and the, the chord harmonica basically provides the rhythm for accompanying a chromatic player or melody, anything like that. So basically the chord harmonica is the rhythm section of a harmonica trio quartet or anything like that. So, and <coughs> How do you do that and how do you play a chord harmonica? Basically, you don't use tone blocking as you do on a chromatic, but you use your tongue to actually pronounce sounds into the harmonica. You can do it quite softly. So it's all about pronouncing sounds, the chords in your mouth using your tongue. That's why you don't use tongue blocking on a chord harmonica. Um, so you can also, of course you can do all sorts of different rhythms. Um, what else can I say about this? Again, in my next video I'll explain a bit more about this chord harmonica. Anyway, to start with, um, I have put up, and there's a, a link in the description on this video, I've made a sort of workshop document type of thing. It actually describes the different types of chord harmonica. It also comes with a, um, a schedule, um, like a, a, a plan to actually show you where all the chords are on the chord harmonica. Um, because the harmonica is actually laid out as a circle of fifths. So if you get a circle of fifths, like that, say, say this is a circle of fifths, and you break the circle at the bottom and you make it into one long instrument, that's when you get the chord harmonica. So it's actually laid out in fifths, a fifth to the right, a fourth to the left, etc. It bit, bit, uh, takes a bit of getting used to. But the problem is that the, the benefit of that, the layout, uh, is that the chords that you use together, so say if you played a piece in the key of G, I've got it upside down. Then the chords that you use in that scale are basically grouped together. So the first, fourth, and the fifth. So the chords that you use in the same piece of music are actually grouped together. <clears throat> um, when we talk about chords, we talk about a different language from the chord harmonica. It's, it's just a different animal altogether. But again, more of that in my next video. Um, so this document here in the link, download it. It gives you an idea of the different types of harmonica. It gives you a layout for a chord for a forty-eight chord harmonica. Um, it's got some 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 practice tips. Again, they are written by and provided by Walter Peterman. Uh, ideas for different rhythms and etc. It also got an explanation about diminished chords and augmented chords because uh, that's actually quite a tricky subject. But again, more about that um, in a later video. But download the document if you have got a chord harmonica already. And I'm looking forward to do more videos about the chord harmonica and make that into another series. So. I hope this helps some people. I've been asked to do um, a series about the quarter harmonica, and I've promised last year that I was going to do that this year. So this is the first. 
and again I really acknowledge the help that I've had in the past from Walter Peterman and Jim Hughes so those two have really helped me a great deal and I hope I can help you guys a little bit by sharing the knowledge that I was given by those two wonderful gentlemen. Thanks very much. Um, again, in my next video, I don't have, I only have two different types of cord harmonica. Um, so it's a bit difficult to explain the different types that are available. Um, but they are very, very different. The way I see this is if you see the harmonica like a big cat, for instance, like a group of animals, then one harmonica would be a lion, another one would be a tiger, another one would be a puma, uh, completely different animals, but in the same family. So, or you can do it, you know, with birds of prey, you know, uh, one could be a falcon, the other one could be an eagle, and you know, all the same type of animal, but still very, very different. But again, more about those different types of court harmonica in my next video. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.